প্রিয়ার প্রেম কবে সে আসে সহসা গোপনে কবে সে আসে Hey YouTube, this is Uncle Momo's Music Reaction Channel where I provide my views on talented artists from around the world, both established artists and non-established artists. And I promise you that you won't be disappointed whatsoever. So why don't you come and join me in discovering amazing, talented artists and bringing it to the forefront of my channel for us to view. Now, my next reaction of today, we are going over to Coke Studio. Uh, and this one, it says here, don't, it says Coke Studio Bangla. Yeah, I'm saying, I'm looking at the title and it says Coke Studio Bangla. I know I have been getting into some serious muddle and a lot of telling off by the title and the way how I say it. But now I'm reading it. So if there's anything or I don't deserve a slap right about now. That's what I'm saying. Um, this one is, oh, okay, I deserve a slap if I get the pronunciations right. Uh, wrong. I mean, so Sean Hattara, is that how you play it? Um, pronounce it? Sean Hattara. Coach Studio Banger, Studio 2, Arnob and Sunidi and Aldit. And in the description page, we see what it says. A, is a, um, Sean the, oh, okay, so it says Sean, Sean Tara. Or Sean Hatara, Sean Datara, there you go, is a Bangla bang, um, bandish with a twist of a new age music. Bandish means binding together. And this song talks about the magic and the, um, the unison of two different worlds, even though they are poles apart. The intertwining of the classical melody by um, Sunny D with the contemporary tunes of Arnob reflects the magical coexistence of two hearts that defines logic. What we're dealing with here? Are we talking about music or are we talking about some kind of mad rocket DNA in the lab, mad Professor Frankenstein stuff? <laughs> That's what it sounds like. Right, okay, 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 let's, let's go into it. Now, this is seven minutes long. I very much doubt I'm going to pause, but ah, oh, I swear, if it does allow me to pause, I'm going to be talking for ages because pff, from what we just heard or what I just read out, Looks sounds amazing. Look, if you haven't done already, please subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to hit the notification button to indicate to you when my next uploads will be. Now, without further ado, you know what we're here for. Great vocabs and a damn good video audio music. Can you dig it? When you hear that. What is the name of the instrument? I know you keep telling me a thousand times, but I keep on forgetting apologies. But I'm just mesmerized by the design of it all. Letting on how you play it. Come on. Wait a minute. They're going digital as well. Wait a minute. Arnob, Arnob, Arnob. And those are the brothers. Crazy. Let me just press pause right back now. This is, you know what I love about Coke, um, Coke Studio? Sometimes you get this lovely, fantastic build-up, whether it be just the instruments or one particular instrument or one particular artist, but the build-up is so lovely. And then when it comes to the bang, it's unexpected, it's a wow factor, and it's like you just, you, you're trying to hold on to empty space to to get grip, <laughs> that's the only way I can explain it. Um, Coke Studios fusions, and I don't know what's kicked. I think it was season one, the end of season one, when you saw season one was for me was about um, the elders 
introducing the younger generations and um and slowly they done didn't they the majority was about the older generations and then you see now uh, both all coke studio i'm talking about now you're seeing like the younger generation just taking over and where's the ogs you might see the odd one or two but where's the ogs now you know, that was on the Coach Studio 1. And even in the stroke, Coach Studio 14, now we'll come up to Coach Studio 15, I believe. Um, if you go back into Coach Studio 3 or 4 or 5 or 6 or 7, 8, it was just about the OGs. So you see the lovely change within the younger generation coming through and what they're delivering. Jeez. I, <laughs> I love this. I'm going to go back just a little bit. Like, little, 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 little bit. This is going to be explosive. I can tell my hairs are just standing up. If I was a Spider-Man, then my spider sense would be going everywhere. I'd be like flicking webs everywhere. <laughs> right, okay, let's do this. Love it. No, you did not just do that. With my song. You go to Funk Town Shalimar, Earth Wind Fire. Oh my day, you are doing this to me. <laughs> Come on. I take all that smoke. I want all that smoke. Oh. This is Earth Wind Fire and Shalimar. My man so smooth, it makes it sound like he's a Frenchman. <laughs> Wasn't that so smooth? That was smooth, my G. That was smooth. I thought I was listening to a Frenchman. <laughs> I had to stop it once again. I can't talk over this. And I have been, so I apologise. But, oh my gosh, are you not enjoying this? Are you not entertained? Have you not got a smile on your face? Have you not? Is your brain thinking, what am I watching right about now? Because your mindset is when you, I don't know, media or social media, I don't know what happened, but when you say India or, or anywhere of the Asian nation, you've got this cultural thing stuck in your mind and that you just, that is so fixated on it. Maybe through movies, maybe through this or that or whatever. So when you get to see this, which is not like new, it's been going on for ages, but it's new to you and you're like, where, what, what's going on in my mind? How long have I been sleeping? And why have you, and why the hell are you only waking me up now? <laughs> I'm going to go back just a little bit. Like, little, little, little bit. But you know this is amazing, right? Yeah. We know. I only hear the harmony between these two. It's nice. 
Coke Studio Season 2, Coke Studio Bangladesh Season 2, Anob, um, Sunny D, and Adit. <laughs> Wait a minute, there's some more. The original lyrics of the Emon O um, Hirichi is inspired Bangili version of the main Wari Wari um, Jangi. Keeping with the singing style of um, Aga and Ganana, set in Rag Emon. Um, it was written by um, Yusads, Vayats and Hassan Khan under the pen name of Pran Priya. Um, the song is penned by Devish, um, Krishna and Biswas. And again, see the genius of Adit Rahman um, sh shine through as he weaves different worlds um, of music in a single universal um, composition. You certainly heard all that. From the beginning all the way to the end. It was amazingly structured. It was lovely. It was, you know, music is like amazing in itself from when you just hear a simple sound, a simple clap, and, and maybe a little gesture of a whistle. But when you have a composition of when you have like, like 15 instruments, and then you have eight um, or 10 vocalists singing, then you've got such a magical whatever you want to call it. And my mind just boggles of how do you structure that? My mind, my mind boggles when you listen to an orchestra and you have an array of instruments coming together to make one note or one, you know, a togetherness. 
all playing different kind of um, structures and different kind of, um, you know, all mathematics and all this kind of thing that comes into it. And not one part is clashing with that. There's space for this. There's, it's this lovely structured. And that's what you have there. You had an array of orchestras. Lovely structured. A lovely storyline. Amazing riffs. Apologies if I upset anybody in my poor attempt of, <laughs> of trying to... It, trying that's all i can say or of trying but coke studio never ceases to amaze me they it, it's made the made the collaborations and the fusions continue and still have that i'm always leaning more always to that kind of soul vibes and there's sometimes a little sprinkle of the rock or sometimes a little sprinkle of the pop um but uh, I'm sure it'll just grow into different kind of structures. You know, you've heard reggae, you've heard, you know, you've heard jazz, you've heard reggae, um, you've heard Latino. Um, I think you've heard somewhat of a classical nature as well. Um, you haven't heard country, um, but, you know, um, you haven't heard pop, but I, I, I don't know how you, how you would incorporate pop into it. But you've heard every kind of thing. And it's just like I said, it's the young generations being inspired by traveling and seeing. And there's all different kind of devices that you can go into and see and be more connected with the outside world to come up with your own composition like this. It's like, wow, man. Hats off to you, man. I love the structure. I really do. And for that reason, I salute you. Boom. Share, share.